this could be a major breakthrough in the fresh fruit, fresh produce industry. Right now, most of the fruits and vegetables are decontaminated by washing them. There is a possibility that uh, you can get cross-contamination from one fruit to the other. With plasma, we can actually decontaminate the fruits and vegetables after they are put inside the package and the package is sealed. So there is no further possibility of the fruits and vegetables coming into contact with bacteria from the outside sources. Plasma, by definition, is the fourth state of matter. It is ionized gas. The gas comes inside, goes into a gas purification system, which is basically a filter, gets purified, goes into the machine, into the nozzle where a voltage is applied, ionizes, comes out in the form of plasma. And depending on the nozzle what we use, it, it can be in different shapes, it can be a rotating plasma, it can be a constant plasma. If you want to decontaminate food by heating, though you kill the microbes, but a lot of nutrients are lost with the heat. But when you use cold plasma, you use non-thermal temperatures, which is less than 50 degrees Celsius. So you're subjecting the foods to much lower temperatures and thereby preserving the nutrients which are essential for you. So you're consuming healthier food when compared to what you would have got if you would have heat treated something. Having the cold plasma processing technology, the Rutgers Food Science, is really taking us to the next level of advancement of science. And this allows our students to kind of stay at the forefront of the new technologies that are coming up to make our food supply safe. It's good that we are getting, getting exposed to technologies like this. Basically, I'm creating a foundation for what I want to work on 20 years later from now. So it's good that Rutgers has new technologies like this in the lab.